vroom vroom baby girl. <laughs> Welcome back to Tommy's World. You already know it's your girl Tommy, and I am back with another video. Subscribe. So, if you have been following me over on Instagram, then you should have already known that I went to driving school out here in Japan. Baby, it was a journey, and I'm here to give you all the tea, as per usual. So, if you are interested in hearing how I went to driving school in Japan with no Japanese ability, then stay tuned. So this video is going to be a bit of a long one, because there are a lot of things that I want to tell you guys, because... I feel like you guys need to know all the deets just in case you two are thinking about going to a driving school out here in Japan. So I'm gonna need you to stick with me, okay? As per usual, I'll break it down into categories so that we're following along with each other. Unfortunately, this couldn't have been done in like a vlog style because I wasn't allowed to vlog a lot of the stuff at driving school. So I had to do it in this like sit down format and then we'll insert clips as we go and I'll show you guys. So don't be thinking that I'm just gonna be sitting here and talking for the entire time. Okay, let's get into it. First, why I chose to go to driving school in Japan. I know that a while ago I did a video and I was like, I would never go to driving school in Japan because it's so expensive. But it has been a really, really difficult time with everything that's been going on in the world lately. And I was supposed to go home and I ended up canceling my flights to go home like two times now because I was supposed to go home in early 2020, then I had to cancel that, and then I scheduled another flight for late 2020, and then I had to cancel that because I just didn't want to make my family sick. So I was going crazy. So I needed a little pet project to like keep me sane. Something that had nothing to do with school, well, something that had nothing to do with teaching at a school, and something that could challenge me but also I could have fun and I thought driving school was a perfect opportunity because when I was in Jamaica I did have my driver's license but a driver's license is pretty easy to acquire in Jamaica so there were a lot of skills that I didn't quite comprehend I hope you understand what I'm saying <laughs> Anywho, let us get into this video, like really now get into it. So there are two different types of driving schools here in Japan. There's the regular driving school where you can go for about three months, where you take classes, whether full time, during the daytime, or you can do evening classes for about three months and then you will graduate eventually and get your license. And then there is the second one, which is Gashuku Menkyo, which is basically a driving camp. You heard me right. So with the Gashuku Menkyo method, you go to driving school for two weeks. And then after that, you basically get your license. And that is the method that I chose to go with because I'm very, very impatient. And when I want something, I want it now. So the Gashuku Menkyo is the one that we will be talking about in today's video. So the driving school that I went to is called Yawatahama Driving School, which is in Ehime Prefecture. And I do not live in Ehime. For you guys who watch my videos, you already know that I live in Yamaguchi Prefecture, which is pretty close to Ehime. So I had to take a train and then a ferry to get to Ehime. And once we got there, they picked us up from the port and took us on the two-hour drive to the driving school. Once we got to the driving school, it was go, go, go straight away. Like, the schedule is jam-packed. It's really rigorous and there are no days off because, I mean, you're going to be getting your driver's license in two weeks. So every day you have to go to school. The first day that we went, we spent like the first hour filling out paperwork, sorting out everything, kind of like registering again for the school. And then the next hour we had to go to class for 50 minutes, then we got a 10 minute break, then we had to go to another class for 50 minutes, then we got a 10 minute break, 
and then we had to do this driving simulation where you went in and you learned to drive just through the simulation it was like a little game they taught you how to put on your seat belt how to hold the steering wheel and stuff like that which was really really good for me because I really needed that refresher actually I really needed to be taught <laughs> we're just going to assume that I am really a beginning driver okay so after that it was like 7 p.m because we had left out at like 5 a.m so we felt like that was the end of our day but nay nay we had to actually drive the car for the first time that night so we had our first ever driving lesson the same day that we went to driving school and we had to drive for 50 minutes that same day they kind of just took us around the track so we could get familiarized with it when no one else was there which was actually really thoughtful because i would not like to crash into other driving students okay but let us get into the actual schedule of the gashuku menkyo I know I'm butchering that word. I'm so sorry. So, in the first week, you do all your driving on the driving course within the school. You have driving lessons two times every day for 50 minutes. Plus, you also have study classes, which are the ones where you actually have to go in with the teacher and, like, study the book with the rules. Yeah, you have to go through all the chapters of that driving school book so some days we would have three classes and then two driving lessons which was a total of five classes a day and each of these classes are 50 minutes it was a lot i'm not even gonna lie anyways after the first week you do your learner's permit test and this was really, really difficult because for me, I actually failed the practice test maybe four times because other than the fact that they were trying to make the questions like really difficult, so you had to look out for that one word that would actually throw off the entire sentence, the English was sometimes not as perfect as you would want it to be in a situation like this there was one time when i got so frustrated i went down to the front office and i'm like how much money can i get back if i decide to quit today i felt like if i couldn't pass the practice test then what was the purpose of me going to driving school i didn't deserve to have my license but that's when the people of the Yawatahama driving school really showed that they were an amazing driving school they really came together and helped me and my girl Charlotte to kind of just come through and go through all of this. <laughs> oh, this is the best driving school. <laughs> best driving school. <laughs> so that's basically the schedule for the first week. For the second week, you drive three times a day, plus you still have to go to classes. Okay? But by this time, you have already gotten your driving permit. It's driving time. <laughs> which means you are no longer driving on the tracks in the school you are now a pro driver so you're driving on the roads okay vroom vroom baby girl <laughs> that was a little bit scary for me i'm not even gonna lie my first time driving on the road was terrible the driving teacher kept on like grabbing the steering wheel because my car was always going over into the other lane what was i doing look out for me on these streets okay because <laughs> baby girl <laughs> but after like practicing for three times every day for an entire week you kind of get it it comes to you so yeah as i said the schedule for driving school is really really rigorous but they are trying to get you to learn to drive within two weeks and for me it was actually just 13 days so from the day that you go you start your classes you start driving to the final day when we left because we started on the 31st of March and we drove that first day as I told you guys and then we left on the 12th of April and that final day we had to do our driving test on the road so the tests the first test that you will do at driving school is the test to get your learner's permit that test has 50 questions and you have to get 45 correct to pass that test baby girl and the final test that you will do is actually your driving test when you have to drive on the road like let me tell you this story so 
when I was doing my driving test on the road, right, the driving car doesn't have license plates. It has like this little explanation that tells the people of Yamatahama that we are doing tests. There was this little Obachan on this bicycle. I know he knew that I was a new driver. I'm trying to do my test. And here he goes, swerving in the road. I'm trying to move over to the left side of the road so that I can make a left turn. This guy would not allow me to do that because he's riding as slow as possible while swerving in the road. I'm like, sir, get out of the road. Like, I literally started crying because I literally felt like I was doing so poorly on this test because of this OG Chan. Oh my god, he threw me off so bad. So I just finished my driving test and I honestly believe I fed it up. But I was able to come back and like pass that test. Those are the only two tests that you have to do. And it seems easy, but it's not that easy. I let Tommy at driving school tell you guys how that was. Hey guys, so today we are finally going to do our first real test. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do the driving test yes. and the paper test to get our permit because you have to get your permit before you actually start driving on the road. So Charlotte and I, who is my like driving school buddy, also like my friend <laughs> prior to this, yes. <laughs> we are both like a little bit ner i let charlotte talk for herself charlotte okay. how are you feeling yeah i'm feeling worried because the test is you have to get 45 out of 50 to pass so it is quite harsh you can't really make that many errors mm. i'm scared mm. mostly about the test too like the driving is more of on the spot you just have to figure out what's the best thing that you can do i think driving is actually easier i think so too i don't know if it's because like it's translated from Japanese to English, which makes it like a little bit more difficult too. Some things I'm not really sure. Sometimes the wording doesn't it sounds really tricky. I yeah. don't know if it's just trying to trick us or it's like maybe the translation is a little bit. Yeah, so it's really not that easy and I'm so scared because if we don't pass the test today, we can do it once more tomorrow, but that would make our days here extended and we really don't have the NQ days to do that. We have to go back to work. Anyway guys, we will show you our reaction after we pass this Wish test. Good luck. Yes, please. Alright, talk to you guys later. Bye. We did it! Yay. It's a party tonight. <laughs> now for the cost. So this is probably the main difference between the regular driving school and the Gashoku Menkyo. The Gashoku Menkyo is definitely a lot cheaper than regular driving schools because regular driving schools could run anywhere from 300,000 yen to about 360, which is 3,000 US dollars to about 3,600 US dollars. But the driving camps cost only about 200,000 or 2,000 US dollars to about 300,000 and it depends on the season. So you want to go in the low season when not a lot of high school students are there. So don't try to go in like summer or golden week when everyone is off school. You're gonna need to take Nenkyu if you want to get a really good price. For me, it was 2,400 US dollars or 240,000 yen, right? But I kind of felt like it was worth it because this paid for two weeks of you staying at the hotel. You didn't have to cover that. That was covered in your tuition. They also cover your transportation from wherever you live to come to the school. They also cover transportation every day to and from school. And they also cover your textbooks, which is very important because even though the classes at the driving school are taught in Japanese, your textbook is in English, which is amazing because you can follow along while they teach by reading your your own English textbook. A little like sly thing that they did that I realized was that the Japanese textbook were actually in colored and the English textbooks were in black and white. But we're not gonna say anything about that. Just like saying it to you guys. Cause y'all my homies, okay? And I just wanted to add that if we had chosen a cheaper hotel, we could have gotten our price a lot cheaper. Like we could have moved from 240,000 yen to about 220 or 210 but we decided to go with the hotel 
that was a little bit nicer and also provided breakfast every day which you guys could probably do without because the breakfast wasn't all that not gonna lie didn't like my hotel at all the hotel was just seriously located in a place that was just quite unfortunate when i looked through my windows it was just graveyards 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 anyway let's talk about the language barrier so this was one of the hardest things for me at driving school most if not everyone spoke little to no english at all luckily for me i went with my girl charlotte so that was like the good part for me because charlotte spoke really good japanese in comparison to me so she was able to do a lot of the translations but if you don't have a friend who speaks japanese then i would probably tell you not to go by yourself because it's gonna be quite difficult because even though my girl charlotte spoke japanese it was still really really difficult for me to like understand and a lot of the teachers didn't make eye contact with me while they were teaching like they were afraid that i was gonna ask a question or something they really did try to avoid me as much as possible now that i think about it but other than that they were pretty cool like they were pretty nice when they actually tried to speak to me in english so yeah but the language barrier is definitely one of those things that you're gonna want to consider if you speak no japanese they will find a way to help you but it will be quite difficult for you not gonna lie speaking from experience the next thing is probably like you're wondering so how comes you didn't tell us about how you got your license that's because you do not get your license at the gashoku menkyo and you do not get your license at the regular driving school after you're finished with school you have to go to the traffic center in your own prefecture so we did school in ehime but we had to come back to yamaguchi prefecture and then we had to do a 95 question test and you have to get 85 questions correct in order to pass that test and then once you pass the test at the traffic center they take your picture right there and hand you your driver's license okay that's the best part you're like a licensed driver now <laughs> yeah anyway my final thoughts so charlotte like final thoughts after everything mm. all of the emotional turmoil how are you feeling right now i'm just like so relieved and overwhelmed like i'm just so happy i was so anxious like i was gonna fail this driving test i'm just <sighs> oh my god so happy <laughs> like me too because it's like all of your emotions come wrapped up mm -hmm. after like everything is done so you went through this stage of feeling like really stressed out yeah. um the tests were hard and i mean we still have one more test to do but it still just feels like you can take on anything after doing this mm -hmm. And I think Charlotte was saying recently that it was great to like take on a new challenge for the year. Yes. It was nice to like get your brain juices flowing yeah, and have my something. My brain has been off. Definitely. Had to switch it back on to come here. Oh my god. And it's been so challenging like as an ALT not really having to use your brain. So now that we got to do that, it felt really great mm. to be challenged like this, even though sometimes it was it challenged. <laughs> The challenge was challenging. Yes. But I mean, I'm so excited. Yeah. We've learned like so many like skills. I thought, yeah. Oh my great. god. Give me a hug. We did it. At first, I really didn't think it was worth it. But when I actually went to the school, it was definitely worth it. The teachers were amazing. I loved my driving teacher. Oh, I should have said you get a driving teacher assigned to you so you work with that person for the entire two weeks they're the person who teach you how to drive throughout this entire process so my driving teacher was absolutely amazing i'm gonna have to insert a picture of murasan love you also the owner of the driving school is really hands on yasu-san was amazing when we were like failing the practice test for the learner's permit he actually took time out of his busy schedule 
every single day to give us practice tests. He made sure that we did at least two practice tests every single day because at the driving school, they really do aim to like make sure that you get your license at the end of it. That's one of their guarantee in the whole thing. You have to get your license after all of this. So when you think about everything combined and the amount of friends that we made this was a really great experience it really stressed me out a lot of the time but at the end of the day i would not trade that experience for anything so i hope you guys learned something from this video if you have any more questions please feel free to leave them in the comments below and i will be sure to answer them thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah.